five or fourth and fifth man to do with our defensemen and how they're involved at uh, you know, helping us recover pucks in the offensive zone and sustaining that offensive zone pressure that we so desperately want. Um, you know, and F3 is critical to allow our D to play a little bit more aggressively. We use the term squashing. I've heard other people call it leaning, um, but it's not a pinch. Um, you know, the pinch is where you're going north when this puck is coming south at you, and that's not what I want. That's a pinch. I want to anticipate and react or anticipate versus reacting to this puck coming up the wall and actually meet it and push it back down. But it's critical for our F3 to be in a good spot inside the dot to let our D take the wall away. So our strong side D, when the puck is on the strong side of the ice, we talk about our strong side D squashing onto their third or onto their strong side winger, squash on the inside shoulder. So if there's a scrum in the corner or we don't have possession of it, I don't want our D standing on the blue line here. Yeah, he's not doing anything there. He's not one. He's not in a good uh, spot to have a good gap coming off the blue line defensively, but he's not doing much there. So if there's a scrum here, I want him to squash all the way down to this. If there's a play that comes up the wall, he anticipates that and he can actually meet this puck and push it back down because he knows he's got F3 in a good spot here. The other deal slide over this spot, but F3 is in a good spot above the puck to recover for him. He's got to make that read. If F3 is not in a good spot and he's outside the dots, our D is, uh, knows that he's got to take a look and he's not available to go then. He's just got to turn, gap it, and pivot and take it back out. By F3 being in a good spot, it allows our defenseman to kind of hold that strong side wall of the zone coming in. The weak side defenseman, so in this case, it'd be the right shot D here when the puck is in this corner. Okay, I don't want him, again, standing on the blue line. Middle of, the, uh, middle of the blue line, right in the near side post. I want him up squashed on their weak side forward. So when this puck does go to the weak side, any weak side chip